Hello. Welcome to Tim's Travel Time. I'm Tim LePage. We take you to spectacular places in very special ways. Our journey today takes us to Tanzania, to chimpanzee country in the Mahali Mountains on the shores of Lake Tanganyika on the western edge of the country. The journey to get there starts in Nairobi and we spend a few days in the Maasai Mara enjoying the incredible wildebeest migration and fly down to Mwanza on the shores of Lake Victoria and then fly on across the remote western Tanzania descending down to an altitude of about 2,500 feet on the shores of Lake Tanganyika at the Mahali Mountains. This area is just south of Gombe where Jane Goodall did most of her research for the chimpanzees. We then get in a dhow and we travel south for an hour to the Mahali Mountain National Park. Lake Tanganyika is one of the chain of freshwater lakes that runs all the way down the Great Rift Valley from Ethiopia all the way down to Malawi. Rochelle Ondell is a Park City resident, been here for many years, and she joined us to take a, an opportunity to view these incredible mammals. As we, we descended to land into Mahali, which is a, a short airstrip, short little grass airstrip, that's, that's plenty exciting in itself, isn't it, Rochelle? As we... Well, it's quite amazing to come in on this short little grass airstrip that ends up in Lake Tanganyika. If we had overrun it, we would have been in the water. But I think the highlight was the chimpanzees. <laughs> what was your impression as, as we rounded the corner and came across this first troop of chimpanzees? Well, first of all, I think my impression started when I started hearing them calling. And the sounds of an animal in the wild is so much different than something we hear on a TV show. And hearing that sound as they spoke to each other and talked to each other was really exciting. And then to suddenly be there with them, almost in their living room, was fabulous. You know, seeing them rolling and playing together and a little curious about us, and then quickly they ignored us and just sort of did their... Got on with their family thing. Yeah, they were kind of picking the bugs off each other and eating them, and um, I found that fascinating. It's amazing how just how close they, they come to you. Um, did you find it frightening? Did you find it um, impressive? How did you... I think it was more impressive than frightening, but... Um, Especially with the, the little ones, it was fun because they showed the curiosity. Remember the one that was kind of hanging from a tree with the fruit in its hand and we were all within five feet of it as we were taking pictures and it was almost posing for us. It was looking at us. It was as curious as we were. Um, I think the big male, when it did kind of the charging thing and was saying its dominance, was exciting to watch. But I loved it when they would sit with their arms crossed, you know, like this and kick at each other. It was such camaraderie. Yeah, I mean, it was almost all the jokes we have about, you know, monkeys and chimpanzees, but yet they had such a great system of all taking care of each other at the same time. Yes. And what, what really impressed me was, was the, the family aspect as they just all rolled in, in out of the bush and, and uh, you know, the mums and the kids and the cousins and the aunties all just came and sat just right by our feet and started feeding. Yeah. And then suddenly, from from afar, you'd hear a call through the forest, and they didn't seem to take much notice. It didn't didn't look as though they, they were going to be spoiling this particular gathering. No, they really just enjoyed hanging out, and then they allowed us to follow them as they sort of started walking off, and we followed along like <laughs> the stepchildren <laughs> that they let stay in the background. And they move so rapidly up and down those trees. I mean, one minute they're on the top of the tree, and then the next they're swinging to another tree or jumping to the bottom and running across and running up a tree. The agility was amazing. It is extraordinary, isn't it? We were just able to sit and watch their communication. We were able to sit there and watch their mating, their grooming, right. <laughs> their uh, tools and digging and teaching their young. It was an extraordinary experience. It was really quite phenomenal. I recommend it to anybody, to everybody. Thanks for joining us. We'll be back again soon and taking you to another exciting destination. I'm Tim LePage and I look forward to seeing you then.